Right. Well, my advice to teachers who want to teach, teach poetry in a classroom is the first thing, the paramount thing, make it fun. It's important, especially when they're very young. Make it fun. And um, you start with orally, you know, um, with games, word games. You know, sort of um, you bring objects in and say, if this object had a voice, what would it say? Things like that. Get them excited about that. Take them out of the normal, everyday world and into something imaginative and creative. That's, they'll be used, you know, because that's, you're tapping in at that particular stage. It depends on the junior school particularly, primary school. You're tapping into their creative energies, their curiosity, the, the unusual way of seeing things. So that's what you start. You start doing that. Um, and apart from that, I mean, there are lots and lots of games you can play. Because quite often, um, just one experience I had in a school in, in Oxford, um, there was, uh, there was, a teacher was quite amazed that I was able to get that group of kids to rewrite poems. They, because once you've written something, that's it. I'm finished. You want to read it, and that's it. But there's, you introduce the craft, crafting very subtly. You have one or two rules, and one of the very important rules is do not tell me, show me. So simple. And um, so if they start describing something, you say, well, how will you turn that around? You know, and one of the examples I always give is you can describe a building as very, very tall. And say, there's a very tall building, right? And that's quite general. And you're describing, you're telling me. But if you say that building touches the cloud, what are you saying? You're saying that it's tall, but you're not. So you're showing me, you're not telling me. So, the, so things like that. But it's very, very simple rules. The things like use the senses. Name things. Don't say the dog ran along the grass, you know, what sort of dog was it? You know, that type of thing. So you get kids to, ob to look at objects and, ob and, uh, and, and describe it, but in a different way. Take them out of the normal, thing. but also you get them, when you do get them to write, do not worry about the spelling, the grammar, the anything. Just get them writing. 